All right, guys, we're back in JR's garage. Uh, I'm going to show some more stuff from Sean Williams. I had a question uh, last night on, on uh, social media, two actually. One uh, was uh, from actually from my professor on why I do things a certain way. And then the other one was what happens if I'm going for that, that um, posture break from the two on one? What happens if they just stay super, super tight to me, right? So we're going to talk about that. The, the good thing about teaching in a system is that you have cheat codes, you have answers for what everybody does. So in this case, when I'm, when I'm two on one, and the question they had was, uh, when I have two on one, why do I do this, right, with my hand out like this and not like this? They're both correct. They both work, right? The reason that I do it this way is, like, if you've seen um, my, two, my stuff from two on one from standing, I like to hit this grip right here. Uh, I'll do it um, from standing, I'll do it from butterfly. Uh, I do it from a bunch of places. I love this grip. So for me, this transition from here to here is very simple. The other thing is, is just from uh, this motion, I'm dumb. So my body, I drill stuff a lot in order to get it. And this motion here for a cone block um, or answering the phone is natural to me. So this motion, right, feels very natural to me. So that, that's the reason that I'm here. So let's talk about it. So sometimes we're in here, okay, we've got two on one, and my opponent locks his hands together, like however he wants to, and then he'll like lock my hips in, right? And he's just, he's not doing shit. He's just stalling, pisses me off. Like it drives me insane, I wanna grapple, right? So I'm gonna try to set something up. So first thing I do is like, I get that grip, two on one, right? So I've got two hands on one, now, this hand needs to come through. Can you walk the camera over to the side? And I'll move a little bit right here. So this hand needs to come through. But if you look, it's pretty asinine to think that I'm going to be able to get this in. Like, his elbows are in super tight. So if I'm going to do this, right? Uh, just like when I was attack if I'm attacking the back and I'm finding underneath the, the ear right by this jawbone, this, I'm doing the same thing. I'm making that same grip. But now, again, I, I can't find it. So I'm gonna lift my hips up to the ceiling and I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna lift my hips up and then I'm gonna collapse my hips, right? Now, my arms are really long, so a lot of times I can dig through and find it, but sometimes, even if he's squeezing his elbow tight, you can't. So now I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna move it up and find my wrist. Now that I have that, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna straight leg, this leg, my left leg, cause I'm gonna, Sean Williams on this side, Right, get Williams guard. I'm gonna straight leg, point my toes, and push this through. Now, I can't tap him here, right? But what that does is look, rides up, and I'm in Sean Williams. Right? So I'm in the exact guard. If if he doesn't hug my leg, then I go right to the clamp. Right? And I'm and I'm in the clamp. If he's hugging my leg, I'm in Sean Williams and I I, I can start to work. I can still go clamp here. If he's uh, if he's hugged here, then I go right to shake, 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 and get it through and go to clamp, right? So again, watch the grip again, right? So he's in tight, he's not doing nothing. It drives me nuts when guys don't want to grapple, they just want to stall, right? So two on one, all right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get underneath to pummel my hand through. Pummeling, doesn't matter whether you're wrestling on your feet or you're, or you're wrestling from here. Jiu-Jitsu is three-dimensional. Right? If we were in space right now and there was no gravity, what is mount and what is guard? Right? There isn't one. Right? So I'm here. Now I can't find the space, so I'm going to lift my hips to the ceiling and then I'm, I'm going to go up and then down and find that space. If I can't grab my wrist, then I take my right hand up until I find it with my left wrist. I've got, I've got thumb grips, guys. Right? I'm not monkey pod, I'm thumb grips. Right. So I'm here, now I straighten this leg, point my toes, right, and hip out, hard, right? So once I get it out hip to here, then I come to here, right, Sean? Again, as I am coming out, I'm driving my leg up and collapsing, so I'm keeping his posture on the ground. This hand comes through, right, to here, okay? And remember, super important that I keep this post Post it on his head, so if he can see me, he can hit me. If he can't see me, it's harder for him to hit me, right? 
Now, the other thing that'll happen here is that guys will defend. So as I've got this grip and I'm trying to get through, he's gonna fight it super hard. So I just push it to the side, right? Now, what I wanna do is take his back. So I'm gonna keep this straight. I'm gonna let go of my wrist. I'm gonna come up, this long arm's gonna come up and I need to get my hips to his rib cage and my chest to his lap like this, right? Collect it. Then I come up and now watch this knee. It's gonna to go to the mat. I turn, right? And I come up, I can figure for the body and start to work the back attack system or I come right back to the truck and I start to work the truck. All these things are interchangeable, guys. You're going from one system to another. So again, right, he's, he's in this position, he's holding me down, right? Two on one, I lift up, drive, come through. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, hit this and he won't let me, so I push it to the side, right? I arm drag it. Now, I've gotta take this face away. If I am slow here, Jared's gonna get his arm back. So if I'm slow here, Jared gets his arm back, right? Now, it's bad. Now, typically what'll happen is, is they'll hug me and try to flatten me out, which is okay because I'm back in Williams guard, right? But that's not what I want. If I'm already close to his back, then when I'm here, this hand comes out and I need to take this space away. My hip goes to his rib cage, my chest goes to his lap. Here, tight, I'm hugging tight and I'm, well, my arm is long, right? Around here, hand goes to the mat, my knee drives underneath, right? For me, I can figure four so I can start to attack, or I come all the way through and attack the truck. The last variation wouldn't be a, a blue video without a dark stroke, right? So I'm here, I try to get it, it's not coming, so I push it out. We talk about that open elbow theory, guys, right? Well, look, elbow is open. So immediately I come up, I trap, elbow comes down, I turn my hand over, because here it's gonna be hard to get deep. So I turn my hand over, now this is super, super tight. I lock my guard back up, I squeeze, right? So last one, right? Two on one, right, he's tight. I, I make this cat's paw, come underneath, lift my hips up, drop my hips. If I have to chase it, I do to come find it. I go to get it, Jared defense, I push it across. Look, as I push across, I started to set up, right? He's gonna be trying to face me, so boom, right? And immediately, this has gotta be speed, surprise, and violent. I can't be lazy. If I'm lazy, he's gonna posture up, especially when I do this. He's gonna posture up, it's gonna be gone. So once I get here, a lot of times I'm using my chin too, right? This comes across, I turn my hand down, grab my tricep, come back, super tight. Thanks, guys.